welcome back to another episode of lb reacts as promised we are reac i'm reacting to teacher memes but this time is the online version today with me my very first guest on lb reacts i'll do a name lb reacts but can't have guests right very first guest is mrs carla Basel lewis the operator of strategic content creators yes. Strategic Educational Consultancy Services. Right, so she is passionate about education and she's going around spreading this passion. Yes, sprinkling it all <laughs> over, you know, so that ripple effect will come about. Right, Mrs. Boswell and I met when I was a student at NCU. Mm -hmm. She's the reason why I'm obsessed with Run Club. Blame her. Blame her. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. It was for good. It was for good. All right, so today. Yes. We are reacting to uh, teacher memes, but the online version, right? Okay, great. All right, welcome, Miss Boswell. All right, this one says, "My face when I when I know I'm being virtually ghosted by students." Trust me, you know I know how it feels because sometimes you are there in the classroom and are you alone at talk? You are talk to yourself. So this little <laughs> he comes in um Star Wars in Star Wars, mm -hmm. yeah. Virtually, yeah, that's that's what happens when you're in the classroom and you have your students and they're not. It's like, are you alone? Do they talk, 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 and they're not participating? They're not, so them just go see right there. Next, next one, teachers planning virtual learning. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> is it is it like this for you? Um. Yes. It takes a lot from me to do a virtual i always say to educators to plan for online teaching is more than to plan for face to face the virtual i have to think about my introduction each day i have to introduce myself or welcome the students differently so i have to go on to google or somewhere and get Look some new get something new to put up a video or something to encourage them to motivate them and then i have to go all right how am i going to introduce this lesson what do i do right do i I am um, usually I follow brain based learning, so I follow a, a, a particular order. They have to get the definition first so they know exactly what we're talking about, and then I move them all around. So I have to plan out the introduction, the everything, end, everything has to be planned. So you find me on four, three devices. So this is this, basically me. This is me with the execution because the tablet can't manage like the presentations and the other apps okay. so i have to use the laptop for those mm -hmm. apps and then the laptop audio not so strong mm -hmm. so i have to use the tablet for the mm -hmm. laptop audio yeah so it's it's really it really takes a lot so um and i don't think persons on social media like the people that were coming on, uh, on the news thing have you ever sat and read what they have to say about teachers i don't think they they, they don't understand you have to be in a teacher's shoe to understand what we go through, Miss, but you just have to keep pressing. They will never do what pressing. we do. Mm -hmm. They will never do what we do. All right, next one. When this is for the students, <laughs> when, when you this, when you start hearing voices, but it's your online teacher. Yes, I I can I can imagine how what they go through because for me sometimes I have to use WhatsApp to teach my students because and everybody have to go on to Google, Google Meet right. and all of that. Some of them the passwords, the email address don't work. And I have to call the names. When I'm typing and I see they're not responding, I call the names. So I type in <laughs> Amoy and I put the the um the loudspeaker <laughs> or the person they shout out. And I, I don't stop type it until Amoy responds. So I know they'll hear me in their head or see me typing to them in their in their sleep. Yeah, but yeah, one, one student they say, sorry, Miss me did I wash plate. Yes, or <laughs> Miss me did have to go shop go buy something. So that's why me did me never come on, Miss. <laughs> me waiting for someone to say literally anything in the chat box well this not really happened to me still because <laughs> usually i have i have faithful students right. and i thank god for that especially my great and i have this one student if i am a minute late she already put in the chat good morning miss or good afternoon such and such present for class mm -hmm. she's always and yeah once it hits if it i have them a20 so if a21 come and i don't type in mm -hmm. she's there um i have them the next morning again at a20 if i don't she's there and the next day when i have them it's 120 and i can't it's like her aunt told me that she basically sit and time and wait yeah. just that's to so just to type in yeah she she enjoys my class that's so so good. that's that's for her and she knows herself Miss, miss, miss. Whoa, 
Joy. You know what is this? This is it. Hyper you are, learning. Uh, yes, this is hyper learning. And you see, they don't understand what teachers have to go through. They don't understand the stress and the struggle that we have to go through. Because right here, so now, you're doing hybrid. Right, as this is hybrid, is. right. You're on the laptop and you are typing. You are try write something on the whiteboard for them. Just yeah, try turn up the audio for something. And everybody on the tablet, the teachers. I don't know how you do the hybrid learning. I've never had to do the hybrid learning, but I know that there are schools that teachers have it. And sometimes I wonder how they do it, especially at the primary school level. Oh, teachers, no. hats off to you at the primary and the kindergarten level because I see how my my um children's teachers how they monitor and i'm like seriously so they they you when they used to be at school they would be at school they are teaching them there and they have some students online just the same trust me it is a lot it and is that is lot. why teachers we cannot drop our hats just take it up and put it and fix it and continue okay. working. Okay. Miss, I love this one. This, this is a lot. This and look how she just cock up on the table. So. <laughs> that, that, that part of it. That part when, of it. When you realize you're not on mute. You, you're mute, but now. You um, this ever catch me? I think maybe one time you catch me. But luckily, it wasn't anything. It was my daughter who she just asked me to come and get teacher to tell her the page number my smaller daughter she's in kindergarten so she wanted me to come and tell auntie that she never here and she need oh. to know the page so the students heard that conversation and i realized that oops <laughs> i am not muted but i know that for some persons I, well when it goes about the children because i remember one day i was teaching and i hear parents say how much time if it does if it tap left it dirty dish pan it table they say I want to like oh okay. whoops everybody hear your business I have this student love loves to participate you know always want to unmute his mic and I'm gonna have a problem because me like when they talk but every time he on he, he clicks on me to talk I'm being nice in my background mm -hmm. so one time me have to say John mom here auntie now says school ago yeah yeah the noisy parents and you see noisy you see the, the reality of it too you know I always say to um educators I know this is supposed to be fun mm -hmm. but to me passionate about education i always use have a teachable moment so i always say to teachers don't stress the students to always open their camera if you see them not opening and you tell them and i say xyz just believe them i remember one day i was teaching on google meet and the the, the um the, the video was open i i couldn't i can't tell you what i saw passing me <laughs> passing my eyes Right, and then sometimes the children. I remember one time a child said to me, Our neighbor yard today, they had to do a lab, and she never have all this stuff because I teach a practical subject. So she had to go to her neighbor to borrow their kitchen with a little bit more modern stuff right. that she can have oh to my. use. And trust me, and these, you know, when I saw it happening, it, it, it just melted a part of me because I'm saying this child could easily say, Miss. I mean, I have it, right. can't, and she but she found her herself way. She found to go. Way. So we have to be careful how we ask them to open up and um, how to, you know, to always open up the mic to talk to and how to see the camera because sometimes what is going on, they have a lot going on in their background. And right. sometimes you wonder, let me just teach them how to remember. They can't remember because they might hear all sorts of something around them. <laughs> and plus they have babies, baby brother and right. baby sister to take okay, care of. Right, so, yeah. right. All right, this one is a peer, parent. Me and my kids daily Zoom meeting trying to learn second grade math. I know, right? <laughs> I've seen so many of these all the time. When that, there was another one too, with the, the parent trying to call, add up the maths. And he was blaming the child. child said, blame you. Because as a big adult, second grade math. And you can't get it, you know? You, you, you can't get it. Me waiting for my students to join Zoom meeting. You have this? um yeah mm -hmm. so even if i have two students coming on i don't have i don't usually have a big class because mm -hmm. it's practical area and so the practicals are divided up so like in my grade 10 class i have 12 students but i can count four faithful ones who are always <laughs> on and when we when i sit down with the class sometimes i say oh god please make such and such come on today i really want to see them coming on but I just the four, it's just me alone and them there. So, so I have grade seven. Me going to go see them. 
that is good you see that that is good that you know the great seven man them as long as they have access them are come on you see uh thursday friday um no not Thursday, friday one girl come in like i i went in about five minutes later she came in after me she said miss i'm so sorry for being late me said no you're all right man i'm just say i'm just welcoming everybody so i'm not start teaching lesson yet so the great seven as long as they yeah. have access them ready but the upper school pity them yeah they put a care less some of them i remember um I think it was Friday. Um, a colleague of mine, she came to school because she has to take the taxi. And while she was getting into the staff room to sign her name to start her class, a grade 8 student, a male student, was calling to say, Miss, we haven't seen you. We're texting present, but we don't see you responding. And it melted a part of me mm -hmm. because this is a male. Usually it's the females who right. call and say, Miss, you know, come on. The mm -hmm. male calls to say, Miss, what happened? We're here waiting on you and we don't see you coming or whatever. So, <laughs> yeah. There is no tired like distance learning teacher tired. It is true. <laughs> It, it's true. Miss Sometimes it takes me, uh, gosh, when I have a class for like two hours, yeah, from eight twenty to eleven, yeah, good, well, good, two and something, yeah. yeah. And when I'm through with the class, remember, I know, I'm just sitting there and teaching and explaining about. But can I tell you that brain tired after? Because a lot of persons don't understand. And I see a lot of pre parents all the time, Miss Sota, mm -hmm. saying, What teacher do? Teacher not do this or whatever. Listen right. to me. You see, intellectual tiredness is bigger than physical tiredness. When you have to sit down and figure out. How am I going to introduce a lesson? All right, this student don't understand it. What next can I use? Sometimes when I put in a video, I say, okay, watch for one minute and 20 seconds and to have a discussion. A child don't get it. I have to go search for another video where similar to right. that to put it. So well, you, I, never, you didn't prepare for I that never one planned for because that because thought I, one video I would, thought the simple video me, would me. work. <laughs> but me. the simple video never worked for two students or a right. student. And so I cannot leave that child there and I have to go. So there is really Really no right. tired like distance learning teacher tired and that is true but mrs boswell mrs boswell lewis you are focusing on the teaching aspect on it alone and i could understand because you're passionate about the teaching part but i have to also bring attention to the fact that we're not only teaching we that have our it. children at home but miss i don't even didn't even bring in that part it, but, but, i have two children yeah, one is in grade yeah. four and one yes. is in kindergarten so you are monitoring and when them. I'm at home, I have to be monitoring them, them plus giving them lunch. teaching my, my um, lesson, yes. plus the lunch period for them. And we all have different lunch time. Yes. So the smaller one has a different lunch time than when I have lunch and then when the other one has lunch time. And after that, you have the homework to sit down with the them laundry, and help them. The you dinner. Have, you have to be washing and, and run out <laughs> and have up. You have wife duties. To, Miss, to, Miss. to carry out house duties to, listen it Miss. is a lot sometimes i have to say all right just tell teacher that you have to turn off the camera because the hair needs to comb you, you hear to comb <laughs> to go into you have class. two girls i have two remember girls. Yes. Yes. so i so I, it, it is a lot it, and i just walk so over i don't have any children but I, I i did you see the did you listen the interview that i did with Dan Jackson Miller on the she she did a follow-up interview uh in December one year after the video went viral. Oh yes. In that miss I had to bring it up. It teach them not only a teach, they're doing all these other duties that they have yeah. plus teaching. And we are just humans. Miss sometime last week last week laundry this week laundry can't catch last week laundry no fall. Miss, no yeah. follow up. And then you have, uh, not for me, but I can just imagine some teachers who are at home where they, they suppose I say, but they home all day. That is it. You are home <laughs> physically, but, but you are working. That, and that is why I'm saying intellectual tiredness is different from physical tiredness. Yes. When you use this tool up here, especially when you are a teacher who goes above and beyond, because I know that there are some teachers who don't care less what goes on, but you have have some teachers who are dedicated it's not it's, it's not like it's true it's I, true, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> where i live i see a man working on a construction site and he's a teacher and I, i'm looking at it and he teaches upper school and he's supposed to be a school on construction site mm -hmm. with a throw <laughs> <and stuff. laughs> you understand me so 
I know there are some teachers like that, but then you have the teachers who are passionate and genuine and right. you are go above and beyond. And you know what can hurt you sometimes? And I hear some teachers talk about it. After you spend up your time, I, I plan the lesson. Not even one student turn up sometimes. That's hurt, hurtful. That is hurtful. Earthful. But we still have to push on and we still have to do what we have hurtful. to do. Hurtful, Miss Hurtful. Yeah. So we're almost finished, but let us talk about this one because we know a staff meeting, them going virtual. Gosh. Together. So look at this one Zoom meeting, audio only. Yeah. <laughs> Let's listen. I can say that for me, no, that is. It I for just, me just, most just, than, just up the top. because listen to me. Sometimes I have a meeting, and I in my regular clothes at home. But when we see the meeting time, come just run go to the closet, go drag down one dress. <laughs> and and for me, if you notice, I love I love sleeveless dresses, but I don't right. wear sleeves to work. I have I have jackets that I put on, uh -huh. right? So I just run go haul on something. So when you look at me, you no know, professional up at. <laughs> And I learned something from Terry Carroll. Look at yourself, Terry Carroll. I follow you so much. You're such an inspiration. Mm. She said, you have to turn up for your meetings. Right. Even if it means that down here, so. A shot. A, a shot <laughs> or your pajama. <laughs> but you're going to turn up and you're going to turn up for your meeting. Right. It's called virtual professionalism. Right. So you know that you come on for a meeting. You fix up yourself. You have on your whatever and you, you look. Pump and pump and you're ready for your meeting. Nobody not care what goes, but be careful because we saw the video to where the man reading the news and get up and adjust. <laughs> just in brief, you have on down here. So, but I mean, you have to you have to present it. Sometimes when I know that it's not a meeting that maybe require me to open up my camera and mm -hmm. stuff a lot, I may just you know lay low. But with the type of principle that I have, sometimes you know you you be you be on and you say okay um. Can you pray? Can you say, you know, you have to always be. But I always try for try, virtual right. professionalism. And I always say to teachers, you have a meeting? Sometimes the teachers come for a meeting and they're in a t-shirt and they hear no comb and they might eat and they might drink. And no, virtual professionalism is right. important. But there are times when you have to lay low, really. And but some days, alone, I lay low. If so if it's alone. audio alone, me and me yard as, as I talk about virtual professionalism, I did, I I followed um Terry, but me never me never follow her like that, so I never hear. But here, what, what happened to me is I had to realize for for my YouTube, right? I was making videos with just me, um, just get up and make video. But then I started this show, Sing with my buddy Captain, when me talk about professional things. I'm gonna say. We can't do what we do, fee, sunny Sundays, fee, um, right. things, but we have to come, even though it's, it's just here mm -hmm. that I'm shooting at home, we still have to come. So for that show, uh, what I, if you see one of the episodes, me hit the head, two episodes me hit the head. After that, after I shoot, shot those two videos, I decided that for the rest of the videos for that show, I am going to True, yeah. carry up the, yeah. the professional. Yeah, because you know, yeah. personal branding is very important. Very, very and personal. you know, I know you're doing your... Um, Yes, ma'am. Your, your, your reaction and stuff. But I, I find this to be something that I'm getting to this like. If you are a teacher, yeah, you must always have your teacherness in you. So even if you do look a funny stuff and you look a dress and so on, but no student is supposed to come on and see you in a battery right upon your social media. Or see you in a some shots where or some blows where not really not really oh, yeah, cutting. Okay, all right, right. So I was saying, you know, you have to remember that you are a teacher, you're an educator, and even when you dip on stick, you're going to be the educator. So you have your personal life, you have your professional life, but remember at the end of the day you're representing your brand, you. So me know Miss LV. Um, you are a funny teacher, and everybody knows that you are a funny teacher. So if I go onto your Facebook, I'm going to see a video with you, I do some funniness, some things, some whatever. But at the end of the day, you maintain your stance that's, as a that, teacher. That's what so I the, 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 the student is not going to come to disrespect you, but I right, can't okay. see the teacher who I go to um, party and then smoke them like a slave. <laughs> and you have that on your Facebook. We no. cannot have one. We cannot have a. I understand your point and I mm -hmm. understand why you would have that point. I don't have I don't have that point entirely because mm -hmm. yes, yes, you're on my social media. Yes, yeah, yeah. I have variety. Mm -hmm. You're going to see me professionally. You're going to mm -hmm. see me when you go But it doesn't friends. lose you. It's not 
Yes. So it doesn't it, lose you. That that's the part you know, of it. You, know, you are still your and, authentic mm -hmm. person, but you're not right. raunchy, you're not vulgar, you know, whatever. So they know that okay, we have multiple but ways teacher, or whatever. But they have a teacher which we have a teacher that outside of teaching herself is her brand. So she doesn't she doesn't walk around with teaching as her identity. Mm -hmm. So she's a teacher and she does what she do, does well. But when school is over, mm -hmm. she doesn't claim the teacher identity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And a teacher like that, I may mm -hmm. understand. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because I, I, I know teachers who are on social media like how you described. And me understand because they, they're not they they are not their ideal your ideology and my ideology is not the same like theirs. Mm -hmm. Them just teaching to them is just and it's, it's just, done. Yeah. And to me, if that that's okay mm -hmm. for me, that's okay for me because this one, the students, them, the students, we we hold teachers at a higher standard than the parents. Mm -hmm. We, and we should hold the parents higher and higher than, than the, the teacher. teacher. When mm -hmm. t when school is over. When school is over, I become Elvis Salter, mm -hmm. and Elvis Salter likes going for ice cream in shorts. Mm -hmm. If you understand what I'm mm -hmm. saying, yeah. so I, I understand. But you. it doesn't take away the, the, the point that I don't right. like. I don't like when it takes away from who you are. So, for example, sometimes I interface with some students, and you hear them say, "Oh, that teacher they can't chat to me because." Me see him on the so on the so, or me see her on the so on the so. That is the part that I don't like because. The, when you come to teach me, how, are, how am I going to learn from you when you come and you put on a facade? But Miss, we can, we, can, this, we, can we can separate what the teacher does outside from what she does inside of school as long as she's efficient. That, that is it. What I do it, it outside, must take away from what I do outside if, if a child sees me on the road in the water, that should not negate the fact that I'm your teacher at school and you should be respectful. Mm -hmm. When I used to me outside, and, and that's where I want us to reach, that if we see one teacher outside, kind of ends because we need to be unwind. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? It shouldn't, it shouldn't, it shouldn't, um, it shouldn't affect how the students see me as a teacher and, and, unless I'm not efficient. That is it. Unless so, I'm not so efficient. We are saying the same thing, you know, but we're the, we're the part that I don't like is when it, it, it drags the morale of the teacher into it. Yes. So, for example, let me see if I can give you a real example that I saw happening the other day. Principal. Big principal. You know. And... Uh, the principal is going into the community where the students live. Maybe, I guess, for entertainment purpose, whatever. But the, the teacher, the, the principal, in a one, less than... She, she's she's going rider. for school purposes? No, but you're going into the... It's not school purpose. Right. She's going to Lyme. I guess they're having football, match, and whatever. And maybe right. she loves sports. Right. But you know, so that at the community when you, most of your students in, you know how good they now want battery rider right underneath your bottom. And a little pit, you know, like a high school, you know. It's a little... You know, right. I, that just caught me the wrong way. Maybe so if for me, it take away totally from her. Look here, if I'm going out, my students and students and me. You look, and I'm a Christian, and I like me um dress rancher and whatever. But I look different when I'm right. going out. That when I mean, but it doesn't take away them. I go say, yo, it doesn't. They all say, no, let me see. I want her teacher or whatever, and so on. <laughs> it's fine. It doesn't take away. But the part that I don't like is when it right. it drags when it you, you right. Because listen, when I was going to high school, I had teachers who, and at the time, nose pierced, ears pierced up. Long nails, red hair, but you know, I'm putting that teacher yes. when you get into the class. And that's guess what? what? That's what she knew her content, yes. you actually get her passes yes. and everything around. Fine by me, but the efficiency is what I don't like when that part they have to come over and if they have to drag your door. When, you're, when, you're, like, when, you're, out, when you're outside, lifestyle affects your efficiency. It, right. That's that is like. that is the part but I don't I, like. I, I want, I, I personally want students parents to know that teachers have a life outside of yes teaching. definitely and we are interested in the things that you are interested in and as well but another uh, the, uh, advice somebody gave me a long time it was that she was saying like teaching a pressure you don't live in a mm -hmm. but that kind of answer is what it means drive if you understand what i say but uh, you you want you should know because for me personally 
I don't know how long I might be a teacher for. You need to be a teacher for I, as long as you can be a teacher. So we're not even long. going there with her. I don't know how long how I'm going to be a teacher for. But So whatever I do, I don't do anything without purpose. Mm -hmm. Even if you see me and dance for social media, all purpose. So I'm, I'm kind of in this position where I can either switch to this kind of this career next of entertainment full time, mm -hmm. or I'm a teacher. So I, for me, is some content teacher related, some content. So yeah. for me, yeah, you have like, to show that diversity. It's like a balance, right? So if somebody wants me to come and host something, you they, can they know it. that I can do it. If somebody wants to, inter to invite me to come and speak to their teachers, mm -hmm. they, so I, so for me, my social media is like that. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's like that, right? I don't think I'm going to ever be naked. At least I'm going to be naked. Right. I'm going to be naked. But we should understand that teaching is the teacher's job. Even if she's mm -hmm. efficient, it's her job. And then outside of teaching, she's going to unwind. Mm -hmm. That You need she's that mental unwind. um, unwind. unwinding. We, we need some unwinding right now. This online learning thing. Yeah. <laughs> so do we have any more We have one to... last one, one last one, but it's kind of similar to the um, the first with the one before. It, it must be nice having a job where you can work at all. We, we mentioned, we touched this already. <laughs> so really? This is not even like this is disaster about to happen. The house about to shut down with everyone in there. Poor Mr. Trife. What, what what's going so, on? She is the teacher? She is the person saying it's nice working from home. Oh, okay. So this so is the, the teacher. teacher. So the store runner. Yes, so, mm -hmm. The TV a blast. Toddler. Mm -hmm. The lamp a drop off in my shop. The dog a bark. The baby a cry. It cannot be that. You know, when when um the pandemic hit and we had to face the reality of being home, a lot of persons were excited to say, yeah, finally they can be at home and they don't have to worry about going to school and whatever. But you see, after like after the first month mm -hmm, or mm -hmm, two, mm -hmm. and you realize what you have to deal with, especially like for the teachers who have children, mm -hmm. it was a different wavelength. For some teachers, they had it harder than some. For some, they had it easier than some. Maybe because I'm a senior teacher, right. I don't have a lot of sessions. Right. So I have space in between. So it wasn't so bad for me. But I can only imagine another teacher who has to teach from grade 7 to 11, 30-odd, 40 sessions. God, plus me two children are three. The very Whoa, the if I even one child, it's going to be a lot. The very first week, that's all. That's 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 one of the reasons why paint and paint and still started the online thing. Mm -hmm. I was frustrated, and then I had some paints sit down and I'm gonna just start paint for a lot. Missed the first week uh, October, but it made me mad. And you know, my school had a, a good transition, you know, yeah, yeah, me yeah very mad. good transition. If me got mad, imagine one teacher would never have that. So what, what happened to me the first week? Parents are called. Because mm -hmm. you know this uncertainty if this in the middle of the class, parents are called, whatever. I mean couldn't manage the teaching because the whatever, mm -hmm. whatever me did I get so I realized I can't I I don't myself to be overthrown with the emotions, I did say, Alright, I'm gonna use this as a mechanism to cope. But so um the idea of paint and the oh, okay. So it is really rough and who helps uh, especially, you know that another thing that I want to mention, even though this is real, uh, the female females working from home experience it different from the males. Of course, yes. of where it, of course, because the maternal instinct alone, that maternal the instinct are the win. demand and the demand. <laughs> no, the you demand. know, think about the demand because, because you know the demand is there. You, but can you cannot feel. You can't ignore the instinct. <laughs> Oh, I well, we, we, we can't ignore it. Maybe I told me not have none personal for myself, but why the cat then have to say, Excuse me, student, I'm lock out the cat here <laughs> because the cat not understand that I'm working. Me not compare the cat to your child. No, 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 that's but fine. But me not talk about with me. No, so your, your, your one context. Cat, one cat on my foot, one cat over my shoulder, and me a child teach. So imagine you, we have a, we have yeah. children. And, 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 it, 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 it is, it is different. And then guess what happened? At the end of the day, um, some spouse expect to, expect to come home and the house must tidy, food must cook, everything speak and span. When throughout the day you struggle so much with everything that you have to do. So you know what what really helps a lot um, for me 
is, is discipline and order. So I work with a time period. So my girls know that you have to be up at 7. So it means that in the night, 8 o'clock is your bedtime and you have to go to your bed at that time. I'm coming to you the bedtime store and I'm going to close out the lights. If you're in the plane, that's how you're a business. But when I wake <laughs> up in the morning, I look about breakfast, you should be up. to come out at that right. time so we can have our worship and you get yourself right. ready and get head into class. There are days when, you know, work out as how we plan it. Right. So some days I went there in the class, they say, all right, just come here so I could just say a prayer or sing a song and God. They know what is expected and they know that when it right. hits three o'clock in the evening, it's dinner time and it's time to clean up. So you pick up back your book and so on and so on. But not everyone had the opportunity to have that because of the, the amount of time that the, the session right. that you have to teach. So it is it is hectic Miss everywhere. But me, me strongly believe, and I'm not being sexist. I just believe that females have it harder than males working from home. I think so too. I think so too. I think so too. And if you are a male watching this with a wife or a girlfriend working yes, from home, yes, you need to start to think. Right. What Please. can you do help. to to help them? The mental state is important. So let's demand. If you can get up one morning and look about breakfast or you know do something that would really help you can maybe cut up the chicken and season it up or do something that that can help so it is less stressful on the female yeah because, because after you meet everybody else needs who meets yours that is it who meets yours and it's like for the female you keep you keep having to meet the needs because if you live with a spouse then expect needs to be met and there are certain expectations that they have of females which you know, I, I see where it is coming in, where it's some, some of the males know it's been cut out a little bit. Because like growing up with my parents, my mother was just always the person to do this. Because when I talk with my father, my father said, okay, when they were growing up, then he doesn't, you know, he, he, don't, he doesn't know how to, to iron well. Because mommy do didn't it. give the task to the girls. Oh, right. So the girls are very good at, at ironing. But my father the, the boys were not good at because they were sent to the farm and, and right, whatever right. and so on and you have a lot of you have some some fathers who pass that on to their young men right. to their boys at home and they go up in that okay are you for cook dinner are you for clean the house are you must wash no you it's can shifting. take on that it's so we need sh a it's mindset shifting. It's shifting it's and we see that it's, it's shifting, it, it shifting and it's but it can speed up a little more. It can speed up some more. <laughs> we can put a speed on it. So if, if I want to know why in it, I don't have to go get one more to just spin right. it and get it faster because right. females need that 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 um that that extra help right. on the side because we have to think about your mental health and um mental health issues um it affects everyone. But just think about the female we'll who talk has about that, miss. children. For the next and, show. Yeah. Next we, we, show. We need to look at it. Yeah, it's like an accident for the next show. <laughs> 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 Mrs. Boswell Lewis, thank you for coming to react with Elvie. Thank sure. you for working with me. You always a have a space over this channel. Yeah, sure. Yes. Do. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. See you next week. Yeah. Where what we're gonna react to next week? When I remember, but see, but you, next see week. you next week. And Bye. remember to subscribe and like. Yes. Oh, right. and. We don't forget to mention your channel. Well, okay, you can head on over to my channel, <laughs> Strategic Educational Services on right. YouTube, and you can subscribe there and like as well. We have content there for educators. And um, I have the Instagram and the Facebook up and running as well. There's a LinkedIn page, but it's under my name, Carla Boswell Lewis, that you can also go to get valuable information about what is going on in the educational field and just trying to empower educators and parents and you students too to help you to understand right. what teachers go through to get you where you are and where we want you to go and where you should be yes. all right so head on over there and like the page as well and subscribe thank you so much bye all right take care bye, bye.